regime, understanding that in allowing Iran to retain its enrichment capabilities, there will always be a risk of breakout. It may be that this is the only deal we can get. The real question is whether it is a good enough deal to merit terminating sanctions. My concern is that the joint plan of action does not speak to these recommended centrifuge limitations Dennis Ross or Dr. Albright suggests. In fact, Iran has already made its views about the limitations of the agreement quite clear. What the joint plan of action does concede is that Iran will not only retain its ability to enrich, but will be allowed a mutually agreed upon enrichment program. Here's what Iran's foreign minister, uh, foreign minister Zarif, has said about the interim agreement. The White House tries to portray it as basically a dismantling of Iran's nuclear program. We are not dismantling any centrifuges. We are not dismantling any equipment. We're simply not producing, not enriching over 5%. That's their foreign minister. What does President Rouhani of Iran say? He was adamant in an interview on CNN that Iran will not be dismantling its centrifuges. He said, we are determined to provide for the nuclear fuel of such plants inside the country at the hands of local Iranian scientists. We are going to follow on this path. And uh, on that program, was Zareed Zakaria asked them, so there will be no destruction of centrifuges, of existing centrifuges? President Rouhani said, no, no, not at all. Not